Okay, so we're going to uh, change out, well actually we're going to lubricate the um, washer in this tap. I've turned the water off, but making that very grindy, very rough noise. So we're going to see if we can't pull it out and lubricate it. Now you do need quite a few tools for this job. So I'll start you off. You're going to need something to pry this out. The little temperature knob down here is how we're going to get the handle off. Um, and you can either use a, a little screwdriver. I actually had a little screwdriver and a feeler gauge, um, which what's a feeler gauge is something actually an old thing used for cars for points gaps and spark plug gaps. But anyway, I couldn't get it off with that. I had to just use the point of a knife, um, and that got it off to uh, get that out. Now, before you knock that little guy out, it's important to um, put both your plugs in because you don't want that little guy to come scooting out and run down the drain, otherwise you'd be having yourself another job that you really wouldn't want to have to do. So we just got in behind that and um, levered it out, but it, it wasn't easy, so just persevere with it. You will have to get in underneath. I'm going to need two hands, so I'll put that there. Hold it steady, don't get anywhere where if you slip you're going to cut yourself. But look for the biggest gap on it. And then you do actually have to get in and underneath it. As I said, it was very difficult. Here we go, we're under it now. Pop it out. As I said, put it somewhere safe, it's only very little. There it is, has a little spring form on the back to hold it in place. And then in there is an Allen key. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's an Allen key in there. So we're going to get in and undo. There it is, sits in place. And undo a little tab that is here. And then when you get it loose enough, yep, that will come straight off. So now we've got the handle off, and it has a little plastic insert there with a flat back and a rounded front which matches up here on the tap with the flat back and rounded front. Now this is the cartridge here, this is the bit that brings in the hot and cold water and, and mixes it, it's, it's a mixer tap. So then this here <coughs> needs to unwind, that will come off, that's just a, a little plastic lock nut. Try not to use tools on that, get it off with your hand if you can because it'll mark, and then here we've got a knot. Now, I've got a range of tools here. Um, all of these will do the job. There's a, there's a decent size pair of um, uh, vice grips. Slip joint pliers will do this. Uh, you can adjust it to the right thing, but the, the, the proper tool is actually a decent size shifter, but you may not have that, but those guys will suffice as well. And as a matter of fact, yeah, my shifter's out to the maximum. All right, normal anti-clockwise direction. And yeah, I haven't said it yet, but obviously, before you go pulling the tap apart any further than it is now, you need to turn the water off. Now for me, there's two knobs here, and being a mixer tap, you need to turn them both off, both the hot and the cold. Turn them so they're across the pipe, or maybe you've got to turn your water off outside, um, just depending on your setup. But you will need to turn the water off before you go any further, otherwise you'll have a fountain running in the middle of your sink. So, set this down again. And we'll pull this apart. Here we go. Should come off with fingers now. Okay, there's the locker in. And now, all things being equal, that cartridge will come out. Look at that. So this cartridge here, now I'm going to have to um, do what I can to clean out. Again, keeping track of how you pulled it out. This one inside, you can see there's a couple of pins and a couple of holes, and you can see how that lines up here. The two pins go into these holes here and here, which line up then with the three holes. So it needs to go back in and sit into those two pin holes, otherwise it's not going to work properly. So now, I mean, you can just take this now down to the hardware store and buy a new cartridge. Uh, but if you want to try and lube it up, 
which is what I'm going to do here. We're going to clip this apart right here and see if we can't turn that around. See if we can't get this apart and then give it a lube. If you're going to give it a lube, there's only one thing to lubricate it with. Don't lubricate it with Vaseline. Vaseline will stretch your seals. Um, you need a silicon based lubricant and I've got just a little pot of that here. That we'll be able to lubricate that up with. That red cap comes off. Again, keep your drains closed. So if there's any little bits come out of here, they're not gonna flick down the sink. Okay, that has come off. We've got through to that part. Now, I'm not gonna pull this apart any more than I need to. Um, this little ball here is obviously moving this around so I'm looking for where was the grimy feeling where was it not happy not comfortable that actually all feels pretty good through there it's not grimy there that all feels really good and well lubricated so in all these bits yes you can pull it right to pieces but I don't intend to do that I'm going to pull it apart any more than I have to so that ball's going to move that backwards and forwards and around. And there's a good bit of lube on there. That's all feeling good. So I'll pull that out. And there's your rubber O-rings down below. That part doesn't move. It stays sealed into the base. The part that moves is that face there on there. So what I'm going to do... I'll get some paper towel and I'll wipe that clean and then reapply the silicone based lubricant onto that. Because if it gets a bit of grit in it or something like that, I'll just give all of that a wipe down. Remembering which face is which and what's going on in all of this. So I get the silicon based lubricant and put a good amount of this on. It just goes onto that face. Like that. That's what's going to be moving around. And it does move around a bit on that key as well. So we'll put a bit in there. So that goes back onto there as it was on that face. Then I'm also going to give that O-ring there grease. You'll be checking all this out. If this pinches or breaks or whatever, then you'll know you'll have a leak and you'll, you'll need to address that, but I don't. Um, making sure there's no little stones or dirt or anything in that track down there. And then we'll sit that back into place. There, it clicks back into place. This here. We can put a little bit of lubricant onto that, shove it down the sides there, like that. And that's all good. It was the up and down that was causing the, the rough feeling. Okay, so we'll put this back on now. Now we're looking here at what we've got. We've got a big hole at the front which lines up with this and the clips at the side and then a little thing at the back. So pretty hard to get it on incorrectly or it won't go on incorrectly so you need to line up that little uh, stainless steel ball with that so that drops in here we go click it into place that's working you can see the works of it here how it's closed off or opened up and what it's doing that's feeling nice and smooth now so I've got a bit of grease on my finger. What I'm going to do is um, just grease that O-ring down there. Oop, it's popped out. So I'll pull it out. And then what I'm going to do, I'll just, because I've got that silicon based lube on my hand, give all that a grease, I'll turn that over. I will sit it into place there. So that seals up nicely. Not to stretch it. 
There we go. That's all good. Now, remembering the two lugs here that I told you about and lining them up with the two holes down there. So we plop that in and over and press that down. And then we get this. Yes, that's gone into place. That's what we want. Okay, so then the next step is to get this lock nut back in place. Screw that down. Now remember that you've got big tools here and um, probably, you know, some people you'll be working with good quality taps, otherwise you'll be working in made in China, not so good a quality. So you want it tight. Hold it in position. And um, you want it tight, but don't give it everything you've got. You're not working on a car, you're working on a tap. So just up nice and snug like that. That's really good. And then this little red um, lock nut goes back on. That's not a lock nut, sorry, it just holds the key in place. That's feeling good. It's not gritty anymore. And then this guy goes on. Okay, we're going good. Take the opportunity to clean that bit of chrome just there because really easy right now to give it a good polish and a clean but really hard so it's under the tap there we go and now the handle goes back on again looking for the flat part that's on here that goes on like that on and over beautiful that's repaired that's come up nicely so now what we need to do is there's a little uh, allen key in here we need to tighten that um, through the hole, get the allen key, tighten that so it locks back into place and it'll actually lock onto that little drilled hole there. So we get our allen key into the hole. It'll be standing out a bit, so a little bit harder to get it in the right spot. Right, that's not it. So get down and level and look at it, get a torch if you need to. There it is. I took it out with this Allen key so I know it's the right size. There we go. That's what we want. No. Here we go. And it was very tight to come out and it's going to be tight to go in as well. So you can um, get a pair of pliers onto your Allen key. Again, being careful with this sort of thing that you don't go breaking things that's tightening up there. and again not not doing it up so tight that you snap things or crack things if this comes loose if you've got a loose tap on the tops popping off then that's what you do you pop off the cover and do that that is looking magnificent okay now we'll put the little pin back on and it does matter the hot and the cold uh, our tap is hot in that direction so put that on like that there we go okay turn the water on let's see you see the water coming back through but listen you hear the noise that was there That's now beautiful and smooth, no noise. It was and getting really tight. There you go, a bit of maintenance, a bit of lubrication. When it's rough and jumping like that, of course it's wearing all of those plastic components and eventually it will then start to leak and you will have to replace the cartridge. But if you get onto it at this stage, um, you can simply lubricate the cartridge. And um, that tap's now working perfectly and all good. So give it a bit of a run, because there will be a little of um, Silicon lubricant might come through initially, so give it a bit of a run on hot, turn it round to cold, back to hot, you think about where all those fittings were, if there's any excess lube that can just come through, back around to cold, you're done, excellent, great repair.